So, without my sister, I won't be where I am today. You know, I won't be a videographer without my sister. I wouldn't see Nathan if he wasn't here. Nathaniel and Angelica. You have come today desiring to be united in this sacred relationship. We need to remember that God is the author of love. The Bible says God is love. Problem is always there, but don't forget the telephone number of the Lord. It's in Jeremiah 33 3 says, Call unto me and I will answer thee and I will show you the mightiest things which thou knowest not. Just remember the phone number of God and then always seek for God first, attend fellowship like, do not uh, uh, attend fellowship regularly, not on and off, because and make God as the center of your relationship. Never stop chasing. Never stop chasing her. Never stop dating her. And Angelica, never stop flirting with your husband as well. Never be disrespect disrespectful to one another, whether if you guys are happy, stressed, upset, or in the middle of an argument. Always speak to each other and hug each other with high regards with respect, trust, and love, when only flourish and combine it will make you invisible as a couple. A single for three years. Imagine it, three years. <laughs> Until that one night at Tim Hortons, okay, where we met again for a fashion show gig. This time there was something different in you. You were happier, more open minded, and excited about life. You were beautiful. I was really attracted to you, and, and I love your personality, especially your eyebrows. <laughs> From then on, I really got to know you better. The more I hang out with you, the more I developed my feelings and eventually fell in love with you. You taught me how to, lo to love again and take risks, and especially take chances. I am truly blessed to have you in my life, and God gave me a perfect gift, a perfect son.
want to thank God for all the blessings He has given me. Despite of the trials I have experienced in my life, I felt devastated in my past when I tried to fix things on my own. But everything was falling apart. I was so lost in my own negative thoughts, which I was sure that I would never love again. I was in so much heartbreak with all of the things that happened, and I stood my ground and found you as an answer to my prayers. I surrounded myself to positive energy to uplift my spirits, and you as a friend first became one of the greatest things that happened. I didn't like you, you didn't like me, but you being there meant the world to me. I felt that everything I went through led me to you, and I never expected the man that I met on 2010 was the man I would be marrying now. God has a purpose why I met you. He has blessed me with the man of my dreams. Thank you for controlling her to the point where she's more calm and reserved rather than typical and Nathan makes sure that she's on task and relaxed rather than bickering and fighting in front of the family. He makes sure that my sister and him argue privately and then resolve it in the end, you know. Um, because they love each other so much, that's why they always try to fix things. No matter how bad the fight is, you know what? That's what marriage is, you know? You make sure that you work things either way. Say, oh, I hate you. I hate you, I hate you. But, you know, at the end of the day, who has the ring? That's what you need to do. You gotta keep the man that you have, keep the woman that you have. Right? Angelica, be a good wife. Nathan, be a good husband. Okay? And Nathan, more patient. Please, no. more patience for Angelica. Respect each other, under, understand each other. And look at me. Accept my blessing, my loving daughter Angelica and my loving son Nathan. Okay? Any glitches, there's always a solution. Okay? I'm always here and you know that. I love you both. Angelica is so beautiful tonight that will remind Nathan about their day of marriage and oneness. I just want to say that I'm very happy for both of you. Angelica, welcome to the Soriano family. Yeah,